1854, a devastating outbreak of cholera ravaged the Soho area of central London. The outbreak was so severe that over 500 local residents died in the span of just 10 days. It was during this outbreak that John Snow, a doctor from Yorkshire, famously traced the source of the outbreak to a contaminated water pump in Broad Street. Once the outbreak had subsided, Dr. Snow had a difficult time convincing the medical authorities and the wider public about the true nature of cholera and how it was transmitted. Most doctors at the time believed cholera was the result of airborne pathogens, similar to measles or the flu. Dr. Snow's published papers were largely rejected by various medical committees. Amongst his critics was the Reverend Henry Whitehead, who was the assistant curate at St. Luke's Church in Soho during the outbreak. Whitehead, who had recently moved to London, was very popular amongst his parishioners due to his tireless devotion in visiting and caring for the residents of the poor slums in his parish. He, along with other London ministers like Spurgeon, fearlessly visited the sick and dying with little regard for their personal health or safety. Reverend White had strongly disagreed with Dr. Snow's theory about the contaminated water and set out to disprove the doctor through his own investigation. During the first six months of 1855, Reverend Whitehead personally visited every home in Soho where someone had been infected with cholera. Having done this, the Reverend very humbly wrote to the medical board that he was in the wrong and that all evidence showed Dr. Snow was correct in his theory. Whitehead then offered his assistance to Dr. Snow and the two former rivals began an earnest campaign to advise the medical committee on how to prevent future outbreaks of cholera. Most of their advice, however, fell on deaf ears. When Dr. John Snow died three years later in 1858, Whitehead was left to carry on the task alone. When another cholera outbreak came to the east end of London in 1866, Whitehead immediately volunteered to minister in the area. Whitehead helped investigators look for a water-based source and they eventually discovered sewage from the River Lee was leaking into the East London water supply. Dr. Snow's theory was now proved beyond any doubt. Authorities commissioned the redesign of London's sewage system, and there's never been another outbreak in the city since. Henry Whitehead's life can teach us a valuable lesson about true Christian humility. Rather than searching to disprove his opponent, he searched out the truth in the situation. He openly admitted that he was in the wrong and he devoted much time and energy to bringing people to the truth. Henry Whitehead recognized that true freedom comes from following and proclaiming truth. Or, as our Savior said in John chapter 8, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free.